Hi everyone, I'm Darren. And I'm Jihan. And welcome to the City of Jidlop's Chop, Chop Stories. Here each week we're going to be telling funny, riveting and stupendous stories in a very unusual way. That's right, we are going to share the storytelling. I'm going to start with the line and then Darren will go next. We're going to go back and forth, so who knows where the story will end up. And to make it even more exciting, we're going to be using three weekly words that we have to use in our story. Say, Darren, there's a lot of shimmering stars out. It feels like I'm in outer space. Ooh. That's right, Jihan. Maybe they're clues to what this week's three weekly words may be. And speaking of weekly words, I have here a story written by Joseph Hamilton, aged nine, that contains last week's three weekly words. Wow, cool, Darren. Last week's words were unicorn, helicopter, and apple. I can't wait to hear your story, Joseph. Okay, here's Joseph's story. In a land far, far away lived a unicorn. The unicorn has a pink body with a rainbow tail and a stripy mane. The unicorn has lots of hobbies, but her most favourite thing in the world is her best friend, who is a fairy. Her fairy best friend lives on the other side of Unicorn Island, and it takes a long, long time to get there. One day there was a big storm on Unicorn Island, but it wasn't a normal storm with rain. It rained apples. Apples falling on your head can give you a big bump. Ooh, ouch! The unicorn was worried because her fairy best friend was small, and the unicorn was afraid her fairy best friend might get squished by the falling apples. Oh no, what would she do? She can't fly there because she might get hit by the apple storm. I know, she said. I will fly my helicopter and rescue my fairy best friend. So off she went to rescue her fairy best friend. They came back safely to the unicorn's house and had tea of apple cake and crumpets. The end. That was an amazing story, Joseph. I really liked how the unicorn saved his best friend, the fairy, from the apple store. Now, if anyone else uses the three weekly words to write a story, please send them in to Chop, Chop Stories, and it might get read out on next week's show. It looks about time to find out what this week's weekly words are. But we need the magical story hat before we can draw the words. And here it is. We also need a special guest to draw out the words too. And this week's special guest is Andrea the Alien. Hi Andrea! Would you like to help me pick out this week's weekly words from the magical story hat? Here you go! Wonderful! Thank you very much Andrea! Now let's see what this week's weekly words are. The first word is twinkle. Second word is Spaceship, and the last word is caterpillar. Twinkle, spaceship, and caterpillar. Where does a story using the words twinkle, spaceship, and caterpillar even start? I always find a good place to start is once upon a time. Okay, Jihan, thanks. Once upon a time, there was a caterpillar that lived on the moon. He had big yellow spots all over his green body and he loved floating and bouncing on the moon. One day there was a big whoomp and the tallest spaceship the caterpillar had ever seen crash landed on the moon. The door of the spaceship banged open and out stumbled a giraffe in a white spacesuit. Greetings, said the giraffe. I have just come back from Space Supermarket and ran out of fuel on the way home. Now my spaceship has crashed down on this moon. Whatever am I going to do? Oh no, said Caterpillar. I'm so sorry to hear. I'm also sorry to let you know that I don't have a spaceship so I can't help you fly home. The giraffe looked so sad and so down in the dumps that the Caterpillar just had to think of something that she could do to help. But what could she do? The caterpillar sat and thought and thought and thought. And the greatest idea ever came to her, which put a twinkle in her eye. Ding! I know! Did you say 
say you just went to the space supermarket? Yes, I did, said the giraffe. Luckily, most of my space groceries survived the crash. I have space bread and space milk and space carrots and space lamingtons. With a twinkle in her eye, the caterpillar said, I'm going to need to eat all of it. All of it? All of it. Even my space lamingtons made with Jupiter chocolate and Venus coconut? The caterpillar nodded. Well, okay then, if you think it'll help, said the giraffe, you can start with my space bread. Go. And the space milk. <laughs> and the space carrots. <laughs> and the space lamingtons. <laughs> and the caterpillar ate all of the giraffe's space groceries and got bigger and bigger and bigger and fell asleep. The giraffe looked a bit uncertain at the sizable snoring caterpillar. He slowly moved forward to shake the caterpillar awake when he noticed the most unusual thing. Bright purple wings were sprouting out of the caterpillar's back. And it wasn't just the wings. She was becoming a beautiful, gorgeous, radiant space butterfly. The giraffe just stood there amazed, staring with his mouth hanging open. Climb onto my back, said the butterfly who was once a caterpillar. I will fly you through space and all the way home. Oh, thank you, said the giraffe, climbing onto the butterfly's back. I'd have just passed that asteroid belt, right turn at the black hole and onwards until the sun. And with the flap of her elegant wings, Butterfly soared into space and flew her new friend home. The end. Well, that was a nice caterpillar helping out her new giraffe friend. Did you know that caterpillars turned into butterflies, Jihan? I did. When a caterpillar gets to a certain stage of their lives, they spin a cocoon and they live in it for a few weeks and then they turn into a beautiful butterfly. Wow, that's really interesting. And if anyone else writes a story using the words twinkle, spaceship and caterpillar, send them in. We really love reading them. I think that's all the time we have for today at Chop Chop Stories. Thank you so much to Joseph for sending in his amazing story. And another big thank you goes to Andrew the Alien for drawing our weekly words out of the magical story hat. See you all next time for some new weekly words. Some new awesome and amazing stories. And a new special guest to choose from a magical story hat. Bye everyone. Bye.